You enter the password, PIN code, but Windows is locked, none of the methods you tried before helped you and now you understand that this is a big problem. Today I will tell you what to do if you forgot your Windows 11 PIN and password, and what you can do to gain access to your computer or laptop. Watch carefully, don't worry, repeat exactly after me step by step and we will succeed. On your keyboard hold down the shift key, and restart your computer. The system recovery menu window opens. Click, troubleshoot, then I will go to the reset this PC option, to remove the password and gain access to the computer. In this window, you can select keep my files, but along with your personal files, your account information will be saved along with your forgotten password, and when you turn on the computer, you will see a lock screen with a forgotten password and again you will not be able to log into Windows. To remove your Windows login password, you need to select remove everything, and then you will have access to your computer. In this window we can choose to download files from the cloud, so you will get a new Windows from the internet, local download will restore Windows from files located on the computer, I choose local download of Windows 11 files. If you are going to give your computer to someone else or you bought this computer from someone else, then you should choose all disks, as this option will allow you to completely erase the computer without the possibility of recovering old data. But if you are doing this for yourself, and in addition to drive C, you also have drive D or other drives on the computer where you store personal files, then you need to select here, only the drive where Windows is installed. You have already seen that on my computer there is a D drive with my personal data that I would not like to lose, and I click, only the drive where Windows is installed. In this window you can completely delete all data on all drives, but I need my data on drive D and I click, just delete my files. This page tells you what changes will happen to your computer as a result of this process. If you want to go back or change something in the settings, click, cancel, if you are ready to start the process, click, reset. But before that I want to say one more thing. The process of resetting your computer takes quite a long time, and if you are doing this on a laptop, please connect the laptop to a power source. And so, I click, reset, and the process of resetting the computer began. For a while you don't have to do anything and you can relax and have a cup of coffee or tea. The computer will automatically restart several times. The installation of Windows is coming to an end and now we have to make some settings, choose your region. Now the keyboard layout. Skip. Here you need to accept the license terms. Here I will press Shift and F10 to open the command prompt and then restore Windows 11 without a Microsoft account. To activate a command prompt, move it just a little bit in this window. If you want to restore Windows 11 with a new account and a new password for your Microsoft account, then skip this and continue with the installation. But if you want to continue the installation with a local account, then type this command in the command prompt. Press Enter, and the computer will immediately reboot. After rebooting, the computer automatically returned to the final stage of installing Windows 11, and for the trick with a local account to work, you need to pull the internet cable out of the network card. Here again, select your region, yes. Now select the keyboard layout, yes. Skip. In this window, click, I don't have internet. Click, continue with limited setup. In the window that opens, you need to enter your username. Next. You need to enter your password here, but I'll do it later, next. 
I accept all these privacy settings, next. The new Windows 11 welcomes us. There is not much left. Yes. I unlocked my computer and now I have a brand new Windows 11 latest version. I hope everything went well for you too. Since I disconnected the cable for the internet, in this menu we see empty spaces instead of application shortcuts, and on the taskbar we see that there is no internet connection on the computer. I reconnect the cable to the network card, and this immediately appeared on the taskbar. I click on the button, start, and here we see that after connecting to the internet, all application shortcuts appeared in this field. I open, settings, then, the system section, and scroll to the very bottom. I open the system information tab, and here we see that Windows 11 of the latest version has been successfully restored on my computer. Let's check how automatic activation went, and I click, system again, open the activation tab, and in this tab we see that my Windows 11 is activated according to my digital license. Now I open the account section. Yes, Windows 11 is managed by a local Malik account. If you need to get a Microsoft account, scroll down a little, and open the Your Info tab. In this tab, you need to click, here, and then follow the system recommendations. Now we will check how my personal files are saved on the E drive, I open, Explorer, then open the This PC window, and open the E drive. Yes. Here we see that all my files are saved, and this means that the method from my video works with a result of 100%. I hope what I just said can help you and if you found it helpful, please share my video with someone. Write me a comment, I will answer all your questions and try to help you. Have a nice day everyone.